shock. That's the only word that can describe what just happened in the mobile chip industry. In a move that has stunned analysts, enthusiasts, and rival chip makers alike, Chinese semiconductor company Unisoc has just overtaken high silicon Huawei's once mighty chip division in terms of shipment volume and market presence. This isn't just an industry update. It's a game-changing development that could reshape the smartphone market, accelerate the democratization of advanced mobile tech, and force some of the biggest names in the business to rethink their strategies. This is the kind of shift that happens maybe once a decade, and it's happening now. So, what's going on? Who exactly is Unisoc, and how did they rise from relative obscurity to claim a top position in the global mobile chip market? To understand the scale of this, we need to rewind a bit and take a deeper look at the players involved. Let's start with Unisoc. You might not recognize the name, and that's fair. For years, Unisoc has quietly operated in the background, producing chipsets mainly for entry-level smartphones and low-cost devices in emerging markets. It wasn't flashy. It wasn't high-profile. But it was steady. Formerly known as Spreadtrum, the company was a quiet workhorse, delivering low-cost, reliable silicon for budget-conscious brands. That low profile, however, has dramatically changed in 2025. The turning point came with the launch of the Tiger T7520, one of the most efficient and well-balanced chipsets ever released in its class. Built on a 6 nanometer process, the T7520 blends solid performance with energy efficiency. It supports integrated 5G, includes decent AI processing capabilities, and delivers GPU performance that while not meant to rival a flagship chipset can hold its own in most real-world scenarios, including mid-tier gaming and multimedia tasks. But the real magic? The price. Unisoc has nailed the cost-performance balance, offering near-mid-range capabilities at budget-tier pricing. For smartphone manufacturers trying to stretch every dollar, especially in markets like India, Southeast Asia, Latin America, and parts of Africa, this was a godsend. Now contrast that with High Silicon. Just a few years ago, High Silicon was a dominant force. Its Kirin chipsets powered some of Huawei's most advanced smartphones. Devices like the Mate 40 Pro and P-Series flagships were held in the same esteem as Samsung's and Apple's best. The Kirin 990 and 9000 series were praised for their performance, power efficiency, and innovative AI capabilities. But after 2020, his silicon hit a wall and it hit hard. Due to escalating U.S. sanctions and restrictions, Huawei lost access to critical chip design tools and fabrication capabilities. TSMC, one of the world's leading chip manufacturers, was forced to cut ties. This crippled High Silicon's ability to innovate, produce, or even maintain existing chip lines. While Huawei managed to bring some phones to market using stockpiled chips, High Silicon's long-term outlook grew dim. By the company's production was minimal. By 2025, it became clear. High Silicon was no longer a dominant player. That's when Unisoc stepped in. Not only did Unisoc fill the vacuum left by High Silicon, but it also capitalized on global supply chain shifts. While other companies struggled with chip shortages, Unisoc forged strategic partnerships with TSMC, SMIC, and other foundries to guarantee stable production. While competitors fought for capacity, Unisoc was building momentum. The results speak volumes. In just the first quarter of 2025, Unisoc shipped millions more chipsets than High Silicon. The company's market presence has expanded across more than 100 countries. Devices powered by Unisoc chips are showing up in retail chains, e-commerce sites, and telecom bundles, everywhere often priced well under $200, and sometimes closer to $100, while still offering 5G, 90Hz or 120Hz displays, decent camera systems, and smooth multitasking. That raises the question, why does this matter to the everyday consumer? Here's the deal. The chip inside your smartphone is everything. It dictates how fast your phone is, how efficiently it uses battery, how quickly it connects to 5G networks, 
how well it processes photos, and even how smoothly it runs your favorite games. For a long time, if you wanted strong performance and reliable features, you had to pay a premium. Flagships with Snapdragon 8 Gen Series chips easily cost $800, $1,200. Even mid-range phones with MediaTek Dimensity chips could push past $400. But now, with Unisoc in the mix, you're seeing devices that offer similar everyday performance for half the price, or less. Phones that run games like Genshin Impact at medium settings. Phones that shoot decent low-light photos using AI optimization. Phones that stream video in 4K, handle multitasking, support NFC payments, biometric unlock, and even have integrated 5G modem sol at a price that used to get you barebones specs just a few years ago. But of course, there's still skepticism. Can Unisoc really compete with Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips or MediaTek's higher-end Dimensity series? If you go purely by benchmark numbers, Unisoc still lags behind in raw power. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, for instance, is built on a 4 nanometers process and uses powerful Cortex-X 4 cores paired with the Adreno 750 GPU. It delivers top-tier performance in flagship devices like the Galaxy S25 or OnePlus 13. MediaTek's Dimensity 9300 is right there too offering similar architecture and performance with a better price-to-performance ratio than Qualcomm. But Unisoc doesn't need to beat those chips, it just needs to get close enough for 80% of users. And it's doing exactly that. Most consumers don't need bleeding-edge power. They need reliability, speed, battery life, and features. Unisoc delivers all of that with its 6 nanometers based chips and is even moving toward 5 nanometers design. Their latest offerings come equipped with dedicated neural processing units, NPUs for AI tasks like real-time image correction, voice command processing, and facial recognition. Their Mali GPUs are optimized to run graphics-intensive games smoothly at medium to high settings. And with their focus on power efficiency, users can go a full day or more without reaching for the charger. There is one caveat, though. Software optimization. Some early Unisoc-powered devices faced criticism for stutters, bugs, or limited long-term update support. The company and its OEM partners will need to step up here. Because no matter how good the hardware is, software makes or breaks the experience. Zooming out even further, there's a geopolitical angle to consider. As China works to strengthen its domestic semiconductor capabilities, Unisoc is now positioned as a potential national champion. That comes with massive investment opportunities, but also massive pressure. The same sanctions that hurt High Silicon could hit Unisoc if tensions escalate. To thrive, Unisoc will need to scale smartly, maintain strong global partnerships, and continuously innovate not just in hardware, but in software, tools, support, and ecosystem integration. As for the broader industry, this move shakes up the competition. Qualcomm and MediaTek are unlikely to let Unisoc eat into their territory without a fight. Expect more aggressive pricing, more rapid chipset cycles, and possibly a new wave of innovation targeting the budget and mid-range market. In short, we could be headed for a chip price warrant that's very good news for consumers. So what does it all mean for you? Whether you're shopping for a new phone or just following the tech landscape, Keep your eye on Unisoc. The next device you buy might be powered by their silicon. And if current trends hold, it could offer performance and features that rival phones twice its price. We'd love to hear your experience. Have you used a phone powered by Unisoc? What did you think? Smooth performance or rough edges? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, tell us what kind of content you want next chipset face-offs, budget phone roundups, in-depth teardowns, we're here to dig deep and bring you the real story behind the tech. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next because in our upcoming video, we're diving into a mobile trend that could change how you use your phone forever. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay curious, stay sharp, and stay